Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're going to be working on a 2011, it's a Mercedes, it's the S550 and we're going to be changing the rear brake pads on here. Now this particular case you're going to see me just do what I call pad slapping. I'm just going to put brake pads on it. Will I do this on my own car? Absolutely not. But the customer came in, handed me the brake pads and said, do not change the rotors, just install the brake pads. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't like doing it like this because I know he's going to get a squeak and there's going to be uh, multiple issues with it, but the customer doesn't want to spend the money. Um, why? I have no idea. I mean, you can afford to drive a Mercedes. You should do the brake job the correct way, but that's, that's his choice. He wants to just do the brake pads. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I did do the right side already. I'm going to do the left side now. I'm going to show you how to do it, but I just want to point out something on the right side before I do uh, anything on the left side, because the right side has got what they call a, uh, I'll show you. On the right side is what they have on there. It's, it's the brake pad that has an indicator. When you get your light that lights up on the dashboard that says um, uh, check the brakes or service brakes or uh, parking brakes or whatever it comes up, this is the indicator that has to be changed. When you buy the brakes from your dealer, it comes with a new sensor. You just take this sensor, it comes separate. It doesn't come installed and it comes separate just like this. A new one, of course. And what you basically do is you take this sensor, you put it in here like this, and that actually fits into that little groove right there. But it's actually a, not a groove, it's actually a hole just like that there where you can see where it fits into. But the left side does not have it, the right side is the only one that has it. So I'm going to bring you over on that side and I'm going to show you how to remove that sensor or unplug it from the harness without breaking it. Very important, as you break it, you're going to have a problem, so just take an extra second or two and you'll have no problem with it getting it out. So, the first thing you're going to notice is, you see, I don't know if you can see this here, but there's a little tiny pin right there. You see that little notch right there? There's a lock clip that goes over the top of it. We're just going to release that clip and pull this out. So, come on, let's go over to the other side. Let's go over to the other side and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Let's bring some light so we can see what we're doing there. Okay. Let me get set up over here first. That's what it looks like. It's set here. I hope you can see this. But you see this little clip right here? What you do is you come in here with a scribe, you just lift that little clip right there up just a little bit, and you rock it. And you see it pulls right out. Just like that. All right, uh, that's how you would remove it. The, the, like I said, the left side doesn't have it, just the right side does. And the way you put it back in is just put it in here like this, and you push it until that little clip right there locks in place. Whoop, sorry about that. Were you knocking you over? All right, and it locks right in place just like that. All right, let's go over the other side and we're going to continue over there. Okay, this is an example of what kind of tools you're going to be needing to do this job. You're going to need a small little pry bar to push the piston back in, a very large screwdriver to get the, the uh, anti rattle clip off, some uh, metric um, Allen keys. The one in particular I'm going to be using is a 7 millimeter. Um, we are not going to use this because we had only used this on the other side and, uh, and of course some synthetic brake grease. Now the reason I say not to change just the brake pads is because you can see this lip right up here. You see how, how big that lip is right there? These brakes are going to wind up making noise. I know it. I already talked to the customer about it but he still does not want to do it. So uh, what are you going to do? Alright, so uh, all right, let's get started. I'm going to show you what to do step by step. First thing you're going to do is you're going to come underneath the back of the car right over here. You see these little clips right here. You're going to pull this, pull this out. Don't lose it. And there's a second one down underneath here. Same thing. Pull it out like that. And then you'll notice up in the back right in here is that seven millimeter bolt that we have to take out. So, all right, let me, uh, 
let me get started on this and you can uh, you can watch me uh, get it done okay first thing we're going to do is you come in the back right over here with a pry bar or a very large screwdriver whatever you have and you get in here and we're going to pry this caliper back just a little bit to recess that piston back in over there see how it pushes it all the way back in what we're doing now is we're actually making sure that the slide pins are sliding just the way they're supposed to be just very light pressure and you'll see it pushes all the way in all right. next thing we're going to do now is we're going to check these slide pins right here to make sure they slide correctly I don't foresee a problem because it is a late model car you just push it back and forth like this and as you can see the slide pins are sliding the way they're supposed to all right next thing we're going to do is we're going to take that clip off right there the way you do it is you take this clip you push it in and then you pull it out now if you can't do it with your hands you can get in here with a screwdriver and give it a push like that but you can just push it in with your hands and pull it and it comes right out just like that don't lose this because we are going to need to reuse this now all right next thing we're going to do now is we're going to take out those uh, bolts in the back right up there seven millimeter you can break them loose they usually come out fairly easy after you break them loose see okay what I normally do is screw them out as far as you can and then just go out a little bit more just so it clears the knuckle see how it slides up now same thing over here And you want to unscrew it again till you clear the the knuckle itself. We're going to put that down, and this comes right off like that. We're just going to put this up on the top here for now. Take your brake pad out. As you can see, it's worn down. We're going to take our new brake pad. With any brake job, you want to always use a good amount of these the uh, synthetic brake grease so that everything slides the way it's supposed to just like that and now we'll put our brake pad in here where it belongs and then this one here we're just going to take this like this and you pull it and it comes right out see now what I always do to make it a little bit easier going back together put a little bit of silicone on here like that right it'll make it a lot easier going back into here all right so now we're going to just push this back in just like that you just rock it back and forth make sure your clips go inside that piston and don't go outside of it and that's it you're in now what i normally do is i'll take these slide pins out like this and like this And then I'll lubricate each one of them just a little bit. Doesn't have to be a lot, just enough to make it slide a little bit. And then we'll put these back in. You're not going to go in too far because you don't want to interfere with going back onto the knuckle. All right. So now that we have that back in there, what we're going to do next, take a little bit of this synthetic brake grease and put it on this area here that touches here and here now every way that the brake um, pad touches is going to be lubricated now make sure when you put this back on let me show you something hang this up here 
Okay. Make sure when you put your caliper back on, you put it on like this. Do not twist this brake hose. Make sure it's a nice straight um, bend, uh, nice straight without any bends or kinks in it. All right? And we'll push the brake pad. Slide our caliper over the top. Now, if you can't get this to fit over the top, you'll need to, re to push that piston back in a little further. Let me show you how to do that just in case. Okay, now you see, I was able to get this over the top, but just in case you can't get this over the top of that, what you need to do is push that piston back in. So, what you do is you take your pads, you put them in here like this, you take a tool similar to this. There's all different kinds. This is the one I use because I've had it forever, like this. And that does now is it pushes the piston back into the bore as far as it can. See? All the way in. And then we'll take this tool back off. Put our brake pad back in here where it belongs. And now you'll notice it slides on nice and easy. All right? Remember what I said about those bolts right there? See this one here is pushed in? We'll push that back in. Hold that thought and grab the phone. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, now, if you try to put your, your caliper over the top and it doesn't slide in all the way, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. It's, it's probably just this slide pin right here is in too far. So we can just take it and pull it out and you'll get back in. Now, catch the... the um, caliper hold down bolts by hand. You're not going to screw it in with a ratchet. You're going to catch them both by hand. Sorry, I'm trying to do this upside down. I'm not used to working like that. Actually, I'll probably get my best work done upside down, right? All right, screw them both in by hand as far as you can. So now you made sure you didn't cross that, that um, bolt when you screwed it back into the uh, mounting bracket. All right. Now we'll take our seven millimeter and we're gonna tighten this up. Now you don't have to kill these, you're just gonna snug them in. Just like that. So now they're nice and tight. We'll take them out. Now, remember we talked about these pieces right here? You didn't throw them away. We're going to reuse them right now. They go in up here. Just push it in. Same thing down here. Push it in. And the last thing we're going to do... Remember that mounting bracket right here? We're going to put this mounting bracket back on. Now, what I always do is even though you don't have to, wherever this touches here, I put a little bit of lubricant on here too, just so you don't get a little bit of a noise. In this case, it doesn't really matter because it's going to get noise because we didn't cut the rotors or do anything with the rotors. All right, so I, I, it's just my, my thing. I always lubricate everything. All right, you put it on like this, this piece here, that goes in there, and then you pull this back, hook the top on, and just push it in place just like that. And that's it. Sorry about that music passing by there, or well, so-called music. Okay, so take my gloves off and we'll talk about this. All right, as you can see, it's really not a hard job, um, but we're gonna talk about it anyway. All right, we, uh, we put our new uh, clip back on. We made sure that the clip popped in all the way here and here so it doesn't come out, see? Nice and tight. Lubricated every place that is going to touch. We put our new brake pads in. We lubricated everywhere the brake pads are going to touch. We reinstalled the uh, seven millimeter bolts and tightened those up. And we reconnected our clips on top here and here and put the, the covers back over the top of it. That's it. We're all set. Now, if you had that sensor, at this time is when you would plug that sensor back in. And that's it. Your car is all done. All right. All right. So that's it. You're all set. If you have any questions or anything, you send me an email. I'd be more than happy to talk to anybody about anything. Um, remember, before you drive the car, get in the car, 
pump the brake pedal a couple of times, that'll push the piston back out and have the brake pads come in contact with the rotor, so that way you'll have a nice firm pedal when you actually take it out to drive the vehicle. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks again.